here's the uh, BMW uh, 528i wagon. It's a really great car. Got it for one of my friends for a thousand bucks a while ago. Anyway, um, so uh, 213,000 some odd miles. The ABS light keeps coming on. Here's your ABS box. For this car, this 99, it's a one year only ABS box. It's not the same as the previous or one after, it's one year only. So I gotta rebuild that. Um, actually send it to somebody else that rebuilds out and do that. And uh, air intake, right there. Had a problem with the car. Uh, hot days, it started up and we just, it run and we just die. And, uh, and that's what it was. Had a, a leak in there and it just sucked up more air, but it was just small enough you couldn't even notice it. So the car would stall out and affected the performance. And uh, what else did I do to this thing? Swapped out the uh, uh, timing sensors and the cam sensors. Transmission sensor was fine, and uh, wheel sensors were fine as well, all four of them. So now we'll look at uh, another issue here. These things are just toast. These windows, these uh, headlight pieces, I gotta replace those. Need a better bumper too. That thing's hit some ice. And now we fix this seat. Need that piece. It's a really nice car. Morons at BMW install the uh, the mirror onto the glass. I tried to fix it myself. Cannot be done. Paid uh, Technoglass uh, like 40 bucks to uh, install that properly. They've got special glues and double secret uh, techniques on how to do that. So it's all fired up. Now, first thing you notice is. All the Christmas lights come on. You can see the uh, engine check lights come on. Not a big deal. It 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 comes on and it turns off. It's like a clock. Once it goes to like four o'clock to five o'clock, it turns it on. Uh, not not clockwise, but just in just in its circuit. So right now you can see there's the ABS light and there's the other ABS light on, showing that the. Um, the, the uh, unit I showed you underneath the hood has failed. We've got 700, 213,000 miles on this car. So, one of the oddball things about a failed ABS is uh, intermittent working of the speedometer. Sometimes the speedometer is working, sometimes it's not. Uh, when the ABS light is not on, the speedometer is working. The ABS light can be on, can be off and the speedometer is working or it's not working. I take that back. If the ABS light is off, the speedometer is working. If the ABS light is on, it can be working or it cannot be working. So you would think you want to check the wheel sensors, but that's not the case. You don't want to check, the, you do want to check the wheel sensors, uh, high speed wheel sensors, but that in this case is not the case. The ABS failed and so did uh, the speedometer, not the wheel sensors. Uh, what is doing the engine chuck light right now? I've, I've got to say it's the ABS because everything else is, is working as it should. Um, swapped out a control arm after hitting a pothole and uh, took the rim in, got the rim repaired. But uh, it's a great car, and those are the only issues. So if you have a car that has a stalling engine, you fire it up and it just stalls out and dies, you gotta start it up again, that most likely is the air intake hose assembly I showed you. If your speedometer is not working, that's most likely the ABS unit, not the high-speed sensors. Those high-speed sensors are the originals from 213,000 miles. Um, what else could I tell you? I, the reason I'm doing this video is just to help people uh, understand what fails and uh, where to look instead of wasting time and money chasing uh, wrong avenues. 
Um, this is a great car. It's not an investment car for me. It's a work car for I do rescue. And uh, I, I need a glorified truck because this that's what it really is. It's a glorified truck to me, although it's a wagon. Um, right now we gotta do all the windows. Uh, I only have one power window that works. So and it's not a big deal. Just pull these panels off and swap it out. Um, and we're gonna have to do AC service. I don't think this thing's ever had AC service. And the AC works fantastic when it works, but right now it is not working. And uh, so the ABS can come on on its own and turn off on its own. Uh, it's not critical, but if you wanna pass uh, inspections that require a safety inspection, you have to have that engine light to turn off. Uh, but this it does turn off about 80% of the time that thing's off but right now the ABS light is on and it is uh, yeah and the engine check lights on with, with it sometimes one is on and the other is not on so yeah it's it's kind of like a clock uh, like I said it it goes through its uh, little checklist the computer checklist and then uh, gets to that section let's say three to four o'clock and it just turns on we found something that doesn't work when you run your uh, code here or underneath the dash uh, the OBD2 that will tell you a lot it doesn't tell you everything but it tells you a lot anyway gang uh, I, I just thought I'd share that with uh, my fellow BMW drivers because it's really uh, it's really quite irritating. One time the, the the code read that this thing had a torque converter issue with the transmission. I don't know how it did that because it's just total bullshit. This thing has no torque converter issues whatsoever. It's a major pain in the ass to do torque converter. So don't only do that unless you absolutely have to. It's, not, it's, it's no fun pulling a transmission out of a car like this. It's a real pain in the ass. Uh, it's a lot of work. Not a one-day deal either. I don't care what anyone tells you. It's no one-day deal. Um, so there is the car. There is the ABS. Uh, I've explained that to you. And uh, so don't waste your time swapping out high-speed sensors. But uh, at 200,000 miles, expect uh, timing and cam sensors to fail. And uh, fuel mileage to... Uh, gas mileage to go downhill real fast because your engine ain't operating optimally and they're very simple to swap out it's just getting to them getting to them and swapping them out that's all there is to it real easy all right gang i will catch you on the next youtube man this car he has failed so we have to lock it by hand now not a big deal now this thing has to be replaced if you want to lock it with the button so that is it that is the core it's a lot of fun it's a great car This has got to get replaced. So it's getting there. When you buy cars uh, pretty cheap, they usually got a lot of issues. This one's, as long as mechanically it's sound, I don't care. It's all good. All right, game. We'll catch you on the next YouTube.